in this video we will be proving the second part of Newton's shell theorem that is there is no force on an object inside a hollow spherical body okay so let here is the center of this body okay let the radius of this body be capital R okay and we will use uh, the Gauss law for gravity to prove this result so this is what the law says surface integral g dot uh, dA equal to minus 4 pi g m internal where m is the mass inside the surface on which you are integrating or uh, g dot dA okay so we will construct a smaller Gaussian surface with the same center okay it will look something like this we assume this is a circular circular in nature so this has a radius small r okay and obviously small r is lesser than capital r now we will use gauss law on this blue surface okay now since this is a hollow sphere the mass inside the blue region is obviously zero so this gives us that integral g dot da will be equal to 0 now you might be tempted to say that okay since g dot d is 0 this means that the g is 0 that is actually not the correct reasoning why because you can have uh, any body okay let us say has a mass m and you can construct any gaussian surface okay, it has to be closed outside the body okay the flux will still be uh, zero because there is no mass inside okay and all the field that's coming in the surface will will be leaving it so there is no net flux of the field but that doesn't mean that the field itself is zero at a at a, a point inside our surface the field has some non-zero magnitude so just because the flux is zero doesn't mean that our field is zero so how do we continue from this step well the answer lies in the symmetry of this distribution so the uh, like in my so let's just say that the field is in this direction okay now since the distribution is symmetric about the radius okay there will be some field in this direction as well okay so the tangential components tangential mean meaning tangent to the radius these components will cancel each other out okay leaving us with the field in our radial direction so this clearly tells us that the field is only radial in uh, direction so if there is any tangential component there will be ta tangential component in this direction as well they will cancel each other out leaving the field in along the radius okay now it can be inward or outward but it doesn't really matter in this case since the field is radial we can say g is equal to g of r r cap okay I made a similar use of symmetry in my previous video so we'll just use this in this equation and we get that surface integral g of r r cap dot da okay da vector is this small area element and this is your unit vector in da direction so it's again along the positive r cap direction da dot r cap which is 0 so we are left with g of r surface integral da equal to 0 okay now this is basically the sum of all such small elements on the surface of a sphere area elements on the surface of a sphere having a radius r which basically means 
the surface area of a sphere having a radius small r. So this will be 4 pi r square. So we will get g of r into 4 pi r square being equal to 0. Now 4 pi is obviously not 0, r is obviously not 0. We are doing this at some distance away from the center. Now this means that your g as a function of r has to be equal to 0 for under this assumption that r has to be lesser than the radius of your body. Now this means no matter where you are, okay, no matter in this point, this point, this point, you can be at r by 2, you can be at r by 3, r by 4, it does not matter as long as this condition holds that r is you are inside the sphere, your field inside will be 0, okay, and the force is nothing but your mass times field, which will obviously be equal to 0. So, a body does not experience any force anywhere inside a hollow sphere. So, you see, it is not only because the mass inside our Gaussian surface is 0, it is also due to the spherical symmetry of the mass distribution around the Gaussian surface. So, in with these two videos, I hope you understood Newton's shell theorem in a very good manner. Thanks for watching.